Hello everyone, welcome to Jira service management tutorial and in this video I'm going to cover more project administrator functionality and the project that I am in is RCV IT service management project which is one of the service management project I created during the start of this series. Now let's go to the project settings and see what all other settings apart from forms until now we have seen the forms right in the last video we have seen about the forms how you can create the forms and use it. Uh, now the next topic is external resources. So what exactly is external resources? So if you click on external resources below forms then as the name itself shows that you can add basically external resources. So let's see what all external resources we can connect. So if you see at the moment we haven't linked any of the external resources but if you go down you will see the add a link button here and if you see the type here right if you click on the type you'll see that there is a self-help resource there's external request form and a communication channel right so basically as part of the external request we can add external help resources for the customers and these will be available for the customer on the customer portal right so you can customize customer portal up to any extent and this is one of the functionality to customize the customer portal so that if there is any knowledge base article that you are referring from external resources right there is some blog post that is there that you want to add into your portal you can put the link of that blog post as an external resource so for example self-help resource then we have to provide the url of that particular resource so for example i'll say training dot rcv academy dot com okay i want to provide you know just hypothetically that link okay go back choose the link and then you have to put the title right so you'll say more blog posts and videos okay and let me put something in the description as well so description is mandatory as well so you'll see all of the mandatory fields are highlighted as a red asterisk so we have to put everything there and then simply add it okay now as soon as you will add it you will see that link has been added and it will be available in the portal okay so let me add a few more resources there so i'll simply go ahead and add and here you will see that you can up to add up to 10 links okay and then you can drag and drop to reorder them so let me add a couple of more there i'll add three so self-help resource you can add you can add external request form if there is any external request form that you want to link you can simply add that as well for example there is a form something like this i'm just hypothetically adding a link this is not a valid link just to show you that you can add a external request form okay so i'll say external rcv academy request form add it in the description and then add it right so external request form link has been added as well so you'll see two of the links have been added now let's add the other one which is basically the phone right the communication channel so in the communication channel you can add either phone number or the email so for example i can simply say mail to and then the email address there and then email rcv academy and then provide the same description there so that communication channel email will be added there as well let's add one more which is the phone number okay so to add communication channel which is phone number i'll simply say communication channel and then say for example i want to add some you know phone number there okay and so some dummy phone number simply will say call us and then add so you'll see that these links external resources have been added if we go and view in the portal so this is the customer portal right so if you open this portal this is how the customer will see all of these links that a project administrator has added right so if you scroll down here you will see related resources more blog posts and training videos the request form email and if you show all you will see call us has been added with a telephone number this is the email right so these are the related resources that you can basically add into your customer portal now you can customize this there are a lot of things that you can customize on this customer portal you can for example i have already covered briefly how you can add this logo and change the name etc in the previous videos but apart from that you can change this help center color theme you can change reorganize these widgets accordingly as per your organization organization's need and request so any level of customization is actually possible and jira supports customization in a very good way so basically if you are aware 
of those customizations i'll anyways cover this portal customization separately in upcoming videos but in terms of this video how to add the external resources these this is the relevance of external resources and you can add up to 10 links and then you if you want to you know drag and drop or reorganize them you can basically go ahead and do just drag and drop over over click left click on a particular resource and then drag and drop to reorganize them and they'll be reorganized on the portal as well okay so you'll see let it reload so you'll see now callers is at the top after blog post and then email and then at last external request form so this is briefly what this particular feature of external resources is in the project settings of Jira service management project and your project administrator whosoever is managing the project will be able to do it. Now not all customizations of this portal are possible by Jira project administrator. So many things in terms of help center customization are possible only if you are a Jira administrator not only Jira project administrator right. So I'll segregate what all can be basically customized by the Jira project administrators for example anything that we are covering here so for this particular external resources can be done by Jira administrator as well as project administrator but say for example there are certain other customizations on the health center which are only possible or can be done only by the Jira administrator okay so I'll cover those separately so that's all about the external resources in Jira service management project I hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching